In this video, I'll go over some deals that I think are worth considering, deals to look out for, as well as how you could potentially get up to $210 Amazon credit for Prime Day. And speaking of Prime Day, why did they even call it Prime Day? Isn't it technically a two-day event now? Before it became apparent, I always tried to find a good deal, but it wasn't the end of the world if I paid full price, as I didn't have children to worry about. Now that I'm a father of two, any money I can save is a huge plus. I'm fairly sure most of you are familiar with Prime Day by now, as Amazon has been doing for the past few years. But just in case you're not, it's basically an event Amazon holds every year where they not only discount their own products, but a bunch of other brands also participate in discounts throughout the day. These deals are only available to Amazon Prime members, but if you're not a member, they do offer a free 30-day trial. During the trial, you get the full benefits to see if the service is worth it to you, as it's not cheap at $139 per year. Personally, I find it well worth it, as being a parent, I don't always have time to go shopping at retail store, so the two-day shipping helps quite a bit. Additionally, they also have other benefits like Amazon Prime Video, which is kind of like their version of Netflix. Another huge benefit is that you get unlimited photos backup. So all those pictures you take on your phone, you can use the Amazon Photos app to back them all up into the cloud. I find this helpful as losing or breaking a phone is already pretty bad, but losing those memories is even worse. To earn $10 credit, you need to collect four stamps, and don't worry, they're virtual stamps. To get the stamps, you complete four different tasks. Three of the tasks are free as it's included with the Prime membership. Stream a show on Prime Video, listen to a song with Amazon Music Prime, and borrow an ebook on Amazon Reading. The last stamp does require you to make a Prime eligible purchase, so basically purchase anything with the Prime badge on it. I'm fairly sure Amazon is doing this because it wants to promote and make sure everyone understands all the benefits they get from being a membership of Amazon Prime. Now for the big one, you can get $200 Amazon gift card when you sign up for Amazon's Visa card. This is a Prime Day special only available to Prime members. And this $200 will be deposited into your Amazon gift card balance immediately after approval. Warning, I'm not a financial expert, so I can't tell you if getting this credit card is good or bad for your credit. I'm just saying if you do shop on Amazon a lot, this isn't a bad credit card to consider as there's no annual fees, a great signing bonus, and a pretty good cash back options. I just signed up for the card myself a couple days ago, so I haven't received my physical card yet, but the $200 was instantly added to my account, as well as I now have the option to select the Amazon card for my purchases. Amazon hasn't released a list of all the items that will be available for discount yet, so I've created a page on my Amazon page where I'll add deals that I think are worth considering. This will be updated throughout July 12th and July 13th. Keep in mind that many of the deals might be lightning ones, so it's only for a short period of time or before they sell out. So my best advice is that if you're looking for something in particular, add it to your watch list and turn on notifications on the Amazon app. I'll leave a link down below on how to set this up. After setting up the notifications, you can find deals to add with the app, but I find it much easier with a computer. Since Prime Day as of recording this is not live yet, I'll show you using today's deal to see how to add stuff to your list. After using the filters and finding a deal I'm interested in, click the Watch This Deal button and you'll be alerted when the deal is live. During Prime Day, there should be a similar list whenever you go to the Prime Day page. One item I'm looking to add to my watch list is a good deal on a robot vacuum. We already have one, but I'm looking for an upgrade for a version that has a self-emptying feature. Setting the robot vacuum on a schedule helps so that we don't need to vacuum quite as often ourselves. Since we have three dogs running around the house, not only is a vacuum important, but the air quality in the house is also a concern. We already have two air purifiers and looking for another one for the upstairs play area. While we're not 100% sure what items will be available during Prime Day, they do have a few items that they're allowing early access, which mostly consists of their own products. Many of them are things like TVs and tablets, which personally I'm not interested in, as we already have more TVs than we know what to do with, and we're trying to keep a screen-free environment in our house. The items I have bought so far from the early access are the ones in their smart home products category. These products tend to make small things in life a bit easier and in some cases even saves money. I just bought the Amazon Smart Thermostat a couple days ago myself. At the original price of $60, the sell price of $42 isn't too crazy of a deal, but overall, it's a really good price for a basic smart thermostat. 
I have a two-story house and we've been using the Echo Bee pretty much since we moved in and it's been great at helping us minimize our electricity bill. With one of the main play space we have upstairs, it was time to upgrade the thermostat to a smart one. Depending on your area, you might also even qualify for a rebate from your energy provider by switching to a smart thermostat, which in turn saves you even more money. I've been using Amazon Echo since the very first one and I have a couple Echo Dots around the house. They go on sale quite often and is a great inexpensive way to play music for your children. Also I found that they come in really handy whenever you're cooking and you need to set a timer. The Echo Show are basically versions with mini screens on them. These can do things like click videos, show you who's at the door if you have a ring doorbell, but my favorite thing to do with these is to use it as a digital photo frame. If you use the Amazon Photo app to back up your phone's pictures, you can set it so the screen shows recent memories. So you no longer need to mess with downloading anything to a SD card and then plugging it into a digital photo frame. They even have a couple bundles that include these Blink Mini cameras, which can also act as a baby or room monitor. I currently haven't set up any of the Blink Minis in the room, but I have a Wise, which is almost the same for my son's room. One product I'm interested in that is on sale for Prime Day is the Amazon Glow. I've been eyeing it as it seems like a fun way to combine video calling with the grandparents with interactive activities. However, I'm still a bit hesitant since it would be considered a screen and we're still trying to minimize screen usage. If you've had experience with one, let me know down below in the comment section if you think it's worth it. Also, let me know what kind of deals you're interested in or hoping to find. Make sure to keep an eye out on my page for items that I think are worth considering. With that, good luck on finding a good deal and I'll catch you in the next one.